Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome to another Zyro Tech tutorial by Ricky Maru. And today I'm going to show you how to create your own light and gradient flare effect, which is going to look pretty cool, and you'll see it later on in the video. Okay, so click on File, New, and make make the width 620 and the height 140, and click OK. For this tutorial, I'm going to click the Bucket Fill tool and make the background black. After that's done, you want to click on Filter, Light and Shadow, Gradient Flares. And here comes this box, which you can choose from. You want to click on New. Name it whatever. I'm going to name it YouTube. And you're going to click on that flare and you're going to click on Edit. Now, here you have a bunch of tabs and a few options for what you want them to do. Such as for this, this is for everything, such as the opacity, how much you see, how much color, the rays, how much of them you see etc. You want to click on the glow tab. With this you can change the way it looks. Basically it's a template for the actual base image. There's a few things that you can do here. Quite a lot actually. click on some random ones here. I'm going to use CD or CD half. And here you can change just the colors of it, the gradients. There's a lot of options here and you can really get creative with this. This is one of my favorite things to do. So, I'm going to click on, uh, let's see here, what do I want? We'll use percent random. And for this, you want to use, mm, just keep it as what it already is. You can change the size keep that at 100%. You could change the rotation, which, of course, really doesn't change anything, but it does change the angle of which it's at. The heat rotation, which changes the colors of the in rings, inner rings, sorry. Now, once you're done messing around with these settings, you want to click on Raise. This should come up. You want to click on one of these and again choose something that you think would be pretty cool to go with your flare. I'm going to choose cold steel. Also, uh, these all have different effects to them, of course. Just give you some examples here. You can change the color or the style. I'm going to choose blue-green. The angular size gradient is the same thing. It's just, it's the pattern in which it's in. Um, a lot of crazy designs that you can use. Just uh, a lot of settings, a lot of creativity, like I said. You can do a lot with this. But for this, I'm going to use random. Change the size a little bit. About right there. You, from here, you can change the number of spikes that you see to barely anything to a full on explosion. And you can change the thickness to 
so they look almost like stars to something 3D. Going to set her down a little bit. Now you want to click on second flares. And what these are are these little light effects, these little dots. Um, you can also change these, of course, such as coffee or just a bunch of options. But for this, I'm going to use. Hmm. Let's use dark one. I'm going to change the color a little bit. Or the style, rather. change it back to random. Random is the default or yeah, random. So, change the size. the hue coloration just changing the colors of them so make these a little bit bluish green I'm going to click on OK and here you can actually apply the new flare or gradient just around the image by clicking around on it and clicking OK and there's your flare. If you find this tutorial helpful, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let us know on our personal me messages, comments, or in our moderator module on the channel. See you.